This Peng P7 proves there's nowhere to hide in the EV marketplace. That's right. The most impressive new car I've driven so far this year is this Peng P7, and you can read the full review at that link. No, I'd never heard of Speng or its P7 sedan until a few months ago, either. To be clear, this Peng P7 isn't a world beater in terms of its design, performance, or powertrain technology. It's merely an accomplished EV, quick and smooth, quiet and comfortable. Handsome in the Tesla Model S fashion but with a more luxurious interior and similar levels of tech. It would be right at home right now on any American driveway, with no excuses needed. And that's what makes this Peng P7 so impressive. You see, the P7, which made its debut at the 2019 Shanghai Auto Show, is the second ever car from an automaker that's only existed for 8 years. Think about that. The first Toyota sold in the US, the 1958 Toyota Crown launched eight years after Toyota resumed making cars in the aftermath of World War II and compared so poorly with American and European cars of the time that its sale was halted in 1960. Hyundai Motor Company was founded in 1967, but it wasn't until 1986, with the launch of the front-drive Excel, that it dared enter the US market. Even then, the Excel's key selling point was its low price. No one considered its product attributes, its performance, dynamics, efficiency, or quality, on par with mainstream subcompact cars. The Speng P7 is a graphic example of the new reality of the auto business in the EV age. In the past, as Toyota and Hyundai and others discovered, the cost and complexities of developing internal combustion engines and suitable transmissions meant newcomers faced huge challenges in terms of delivering vehicles with refined driving manners, good performance and fuel consumption, and solid reliability. EV powertrains are inherently smooth and quiet, with fewer moving parts to wear or break. There are no pesky calibration issues in terms of getting a motor to meet emission and fuel economy standards or to get it to work together with a complicated transmission. Making a vehicle that's instantly competitive with mainstream offerings from established OEMs is therefore a lot easier than it used to be.